The days will start getting longer again after today, but will this shed any light on market sentiment? Alan McQuaid joins me down the line for the last week ahead of 2014. Now, Alan, this morning we had news from China may offer assistance to help shore up the Russian economy crisis. Do you think this will give the situation a bit of a reprieve, though? Well, I think it'll, it'll, it'll give it a, a bit of a reprieve in, in, in the near term. I mean, obviously, China and Russia have close diplomatic and economic ties, particularly in, in, in the energy sector. So, uh, anything that, that that can help Russia is, is got to be positive. And, and clearly, China, you know, as the second largest economy in the world, uh, you, you can't dismiss that. Um, however, China has, has has problems of its own. Uh, and I think the key issue at, at this juncture is really, you know, for the markets is, you know, have oil prices stabilised or, or will they stabilise? Um, I think they're, they're back over over sixty dollars a barrel in terms of Brent. So I think that that's encouraging. Having you know, having fallen below sixty dollars last week, um, but I think there's still a lot of, lot of issues out there. Um, I think markets are still aren't too sure. You know how far crude might rebound next year, and with the Saudis playing hardball and OPEC not scheduled to meet again until early June. I mean, oil markets could remain oversupplied for some time to come, and if that's the case, uh, and oil prices remain uh, under pressure, well, clearly that's going to impact negatively on Russia as well. The euro is still likely to be under pressure, as speculators consider the possibility of further QE at the January meeting, especially as the US dollar continues its robust direction. But what is your outlook, Alan? Well, I think most people, yeah, I mean, I think are are, are assuming or expecting uh, some announcement or actual, you know, full details of QE early next year. I think it's interesting the fact that the uh, Swiss National Bank announced last week that it was going to introduce uh, negative deposit rates on on site deposits with effect from January 22nd, which coincidence or is a coincidence the same day as the ECB holds its first meeting of 2015. Uh, So I think you're going to get something on QE, I think, early next year and that in theory should uh, um, you know weaken the weaken the euro further i think that i suppose the issue is that most people seem to be going with, with a long dollar trade and that maybe you know you could argue maybe maybe it becomes overcrowded but uh, i think from an economic fundamental point of view i mean i think the euro will weaken and i, I could see it dropping below 120 uh, early next year against the against the dollar December seemed to be the month for snap elections, with Sweden, Japan and Greece causing a furore. Is there anything else our viewers should keep an eye out for over the festive period? Well, I no, I think Greece is obviously going to be the, the, the big issue. I mean, as you say, I mean, they're voting again tomorrow. Um, Samaras has... Uh, Made some offers to, to lawmakers uh, in, a, in, in an attempt to, to, to win more votes for his presidential nominee, um, and that's obviously injected fresh momentum into his fight against the anti-austerity Syriza party. Um, I mean, personally, I, I think tomorrow we'll, they'll probably have difficulty in, in, in getting his nomination through. So then, I think all eyes will be on December 29th in the final round. But my good feeling is that you know, in the end, uh, Greece will 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 want to avoid a a political sort of a, a crisis at, at this stage, and I think you know he'd win the day in the end, uh, uh, and you know postpone the the political difficulties for, for for a while yet. But I think it's interesting. I mean, clearly, Syriza, uh, you know, is certainly. Um, Polling strongly in Greece, and you see it in other countries as well. I mean, Podemos in, 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 in Spain and over in Ireland ourselves, Sinn Féin doing very, very well. So these anti-establishment parties, and that could be a, a key theme for financial markets next year. Um, you know, I think politics, not, not just geopolitical concerns, but I think domestic politics as in many of these peripheral countries uh, could be actually more... more, more uh, more interesting and more dramatic in terms of, of, of market moves than, than economic fundamentals themselves. Alan, great to speak with you. Thank you for your time. Well, viewers, the TV team has plenty more to bring you over the festive period, so stick with us here at Ducascopy TV. Goodbye for now.